And now that we're back, um, sorry about that. And, um, okay, let me get where we were. So, P play, this happens, the AI goes good. All right, so I'm gonna check actors just in case, and let's get back into it. So, I'm gonna add a bunch of properties into the front. You can press, click this and press P, and we'll just add a property. We're going to need approximately four in total. Let's see, one, two, three, four, okay, good. Um, they're going to be equal property AI, and then we'll jump to a value of, the first one's going to be a value of one positive. Uh, actually, I think I don't need positive for this. Value AI, value of two. Select, select AI with value of three. Select AI with a value of four. Okay, so there we have it. And now I would do a bunch of AND controllers to line it up. Alright, go. Um, I'm actually going to do Shift A and I'm going to add a plane for this to land on. Scale her up. Uh, you know, I'll start giving things textures, or I'll just do wireframe for now. Okay, now the yeah, AI to work properly, we're going to add, need some motion actuators. So we have one, two, three. And four of them, sure. Now, um, the first one we're going to name up. The name doesn't really matter, but we're going to anyways. Uh, and it's down. No, what? Down? No, that's not it. Uh, this is going to be left. And it'd be right. Yeah. And this is going to be um, an extra animation. So there we go. Yeah. We'll just go with that. So in this case, we're going to make up y. Uh, y. So I'll switch this char character motion Y. And this is also, this is going to be on the rotation. So left is rotating positive Z. That doesn't help at all. Probably get different results if I do it this time. Two, come on. I'm gonna just tweak these settings a bit. I'm gonna do 0 0.02. Nope, oh, my bad. Gotta wire this in. There we go. I do something actually more like two. Is that left? Yes, that is left. Okay, good. Two. Yeah, okay, there. And this will be uh, negative two on the negative axis for right. And then the extra animation will, will not have a motion and will have uh, an action instead. So actually, all of these would have technically have an action. Be four its own action to go with it. So this is if you were to hook up a model, but if you were to hook up a model, these actions would not be on the cube. So I'll just demonstrate how that would work later. Um, this cube is like a base, and your character would go onto it, so... We're gonna pretend this monkey is our character. Um, Z 180. We need to have it facing on the y-axis. So if I go back, yeah, you know, I'm just going to start texturing things. This is going to be invisible now. I'm going to parent the monkey to shift parent the monkey e to the cube with sh uh, control P, 
And now I'm going to select the monkey and shift select this. No, select the monkey, shift so the Susanna, I think it's actually, yeah, Susanna. And shift select the cube. And the monkey will have the action. So you could add an, a walking action. I'm just going to make one quick action for the Susanna. It's going to be I rotation alt a there. Um, it's going to go to 10. It's, it's going to go, uh, no. It's going to go uh, rotation on the x axis. Up to minus forty. It's going to be I and I'm going to do rotation. Only do rotation when you're doing animations, not location. You can do scale, but I wouldn't advise it. But only rotation or look and scale, nothing else. And then this is going to come back to down to zero. I'm going to go to twenty, and this is going to come back down to zero. And Susanna action 20, it's I rotation. From 1 to 20 down here, and it's going to play the action without, with continue, yes. Continue is, I would say, a good one for it. And then I just add this on. So, hit play. Whoa, what's going on? Static. Oh, well, this needs to be a no collision. Uh, so this is how the hit back boxes work and things. So uh, this is going to be either sensor or no collision. I'm going to put mine as a sensor. Actually, I put yours as no collision. But if yours goes like out of the box and stuff, I'd just do like no collision. But if you need to like detect objects with it and stuff, do sensor. So I'll do no collision for this. But if you need it to have collision or detect stuff. Use like dynamic character or sensor. Just do not use static for this. Now I'm gonna make some uh, materials. So the monkey will be. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna make go to GLSL. I'm gonna add a 60 frame rate. I would not advise that if you're using a slower computer. I'm gonna put up 1920 up here and 1080 here. I'm gonna make this desktop. Escape key, escape, okay. Um, this is just so I can add lighting. Shift A. I really wish they would update OpenGL, the OpenGL. There. Okay. Now let's add some stuff in. Like, this will be a green Susanna. And the plane will be black. And I'm going to go to texture mode. Notice the Susanna is now working on its own. I'm not doing anything. This is AI. Now if I leave and do it again, it'll do a completely different set of actions. And it's all property based. So this is my favorite form of AI. I think AI usually works better when this ha when it's like this. And um this was just, and don't forget to uh, hit file and save, and save it to a location. Um, I would uh, save this script to a location, so you can use this script in other projects. So just uh, go to text and hit save as, and save it as a script. Um, this is the basics of AI. You can, this is how you link models up to AI and stuff like that. Um, if you had like a, a, a human and it needed to walk, I would hook up an action to on, the, on the Susanna for all of these motions. Um, but for the most part, that's pretty much it, so um, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and um, tell me what tutorial you want me to make next in the below, and um, I've actually got an idea if you'd like me to do like role plays and stuff, and like, move videos and stuff, and do like gaming stuff and stuff, or just like me making animations and stuff, I don't know. Anyways, um, I'm Kodrati, and goodbye!